Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been shopping with my little girl. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look at what I've got. So I was having a little look around and I took my girl and she wanted to buy a toy. So we did. And um, I was just having a, a look through the freezer aisle and I seen this. Heat me, eat me. Loaded chili dog with hot chili sauce. Microwaved, 140 grams. And it was a pound. So I had to buy it, didn't I? You know, you know, I like me hot sauce and me hot food. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I had a right good time with me girl walking around. I only took one of them. The other, the other girl didn't want to come. She was upstairs on a tablet in a den. <laughs> so we had a little walk around. It was, it was lovely. It was. We went to see all the dollies. So anyway, uh, let's get this open and see what we have got. So it's absolutely been hammering it down rain lately, and it's starting to clear. And I've got all my family up, which is lovely. I'll be catching up with them after. So let's have a look. Oh, we're straight into it. That is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. <laughs> so that's that, yeah. So basically, let's I'll tell you about it. So there is the nutritional information. If you'd like to pause that, by all means, pause that and have a look at that. Um, so what does it say? It says um, typical values per 100 microwaved, 303 calories. Um, a few allergens as well in bold. We'll get to them now. There we go. They are all the ingredients. And you've got wheat, wheat and milk. Look at all them ingredients. Um, it's frozen snack. It said um, pork, hot dog, sausage in a pizza style bun with extra hot sauce. Um, contains sugar and sweetener, cheese and red onion. So look at that. I mean, it's only a snack. It's a pound. So it says origin of pork. It's not focusing. Come on, focus, please. Origin of pork. Um, EU. It's got on there with a guarantee. So there we are. That is that. It's, it's only Diddy, isn't it? Let's be honest. Probably need about three of these to satisfy me. <laughs> um, so, yes. Oh, we are. Got in a bit. I'm getting all mixed up here. We need to know how to cook it, don't we? Cooking instructions, there we go, look. Uh, do not eat raw. <laughs> and that's probably after you've had a skinful of a night, after, you know, you come in after a skinful, you don't want to be eating it raw. <laughs> well, your teeth will fall out for a start. Uh, cook according to instructions before eating. All cooking appliances vary in performance. Well, we all know that, don't we? Um, oven cook from frozen, or you can microwave it. Remove all packaging. This is for the um, oven. Place uh, on an oven tray in the center of a preheated oven for approximately 18 minutes. Or you can microwave it from frozen based on 800 watts, which mine is. Cook for two and a half minutes. Leave to stand for one minute. I think what I'll do with mine, I'm going to do it in the air fryer. It's 18 minutes in the oven or nine minutes. It'll be nine minutes in the air fryer. That'll give me just enough time to make a brew and we'll make a brew. <laughs> I'm going to see my other daughter. Um, yeah, so let's let's get it there. Let's get it in here then. Come on, come with me. Come with me. Other side of the kitchen. All two, all two steps of it. There we go. Let's see if it's turned on. No, I need to turn it on. So it's in there. Look, let's get this down. So I'm going to do it on um, oven bake at one ninety. Um, what was it, 18 minutes, so what's after that? Nine, isn't it? So there we go. Let's have a go at that. So uh, I hope you've all had a great time over Christmas. I'm gonna, I was gonna go live um, tomorrow night, but I'm not, I'm gonna go out. I've got, I'm going out on a night out, so that'll be good. Um, so if you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you're not subscribed, then maybe consider subscribing. Leave a comment as let, let me know if you've had these. Um, I've not seen these before. However, I have had a, I've had a breakfast 
Born, I think it was. Uh, Heat me, eat me. Um, I, I, I can't, where did I get that from? I think I might have got that from Iceland. And I, I, didn't, I didn't find it too bad, to be fair, if I can remember rightly. So, yeah, so let me know if you've had these before. Um, like I say, leave a message in the comments. I've been growing a beard for, for charity as well. A lot, of, a lot of people have said, get a shave. <laughs> but I've had lots of comments as well saying, it, you know, it suits you. Yeah? It's sort of a mixed bag, really. Um, but the deadline has gone for the beard and I'm, I'm in my own time growing it now. I did say 24th of December. So I'm five days over. So I'm gonna keep it on. I don't know how long for. Um, I've got nearly 450 quid um, donated for Help for Heroes, which is fantastic. All you guys have been donating and I, I will, when I, when I shave it off, I will do a like, um, probably a shave off video and and a, and a shout out to everyone who's donated. And it's on Facebook that, it's on um, Ball Foodie Guy. So I've got another seven minutes, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'll bring you back when it's done. Where's the box? So it's done, there we go look. This is that. Oh, but it was a bit dicky, I had to, um, I did it in the air fryer. I did it for nine minutes at the recommended 190. And I thought, it's getting a bit brownie, yeah? I'll have to turn it down anyway. I got the old thermometer on it, on the sausage, and it wasn't um, it wasn't up to temperature. So I had to turn it down about 160 and do it for another three minutes. And there we, I turned the sausage over as well. It was all cold underneath, so just want to be wary of that. You've got to, with the air fryer, because it's no temperatures on it, you've just got to, just got to check it really. And it's all by sort of like um, trial and error. I sort of go for, um, maybe knock it down 10 degrees and probably half the time. But like I say, you know, you've just got to be a bit dicky, haven't you? You know, be a bit dicky. Just be a bit careful. <laughs> so like I say, yeah, so they're ideal for like, um, Jonathan, the trucker, he, he messages me quite a lot and he says, can you do any microwave stuff? Because he's in he's in his cab. So this would be ideal for you. Um, I got a lovely gift as well. Um, John, John sent me this gift. Thank you very much, John. I've not heard from me in the comments. I hope you're all, I hope you're okay. You're probably um, having a nice time at Christmas, aren't you? So thank you very much for that. Right, it's about time I got into this. Heat me, eat me, loaded chili dog with hot chili sauce. So let's have a look at this. It's going to be red hot, isn't it? So. There we go, it's a bit crisp, but it's cooked, that's the main thing. I'll get into this way. So it's hot, and I don't mean as in, to, I don't mean as in it's spicy hot. That was like lava. Should have waited. I waited a few minutes as well. Oh. God, that was red hot. I'm just gonna have to get a serviette, just a sec. Right, I can have a, probably a, a bit, a, a better bite now. Mmm. Mmm, that's not too bad. That sausage is lovely as well. It reminds me of the um of the sausages we used to get in Germany. It's it's quite a nice little sausage that to be honest. For a hot dog sausage, it's not like what you get in the it, um, you know, in brine, when you see that the, the, the hot dog sausage is in brine, it's not. I like the outer skin of the, the sausage. It's quite, it's quite tough. You know, when you bite into it, you can, it's like a little nip through it. You can get through it. It's nice. 
Um, and the bun is, is basically like a pizza based bun. It's, it's not like a hot dog bun. I'm not getting much cheese through and I'm not getting much heat through. Mmm. There's a little sausage look, look at that. It's quite tasty though. I'm getting a little bit of heat through now, but only very, very minor. And there's not a chilli rating on it. Sometimes they put um, like one chilli star or two chilli ratings. I can't find one on it, you see. Um, so I'd give it a one, personally, a one star. And it's not too bad for a pound, I mean. Mmm. Mmm. I've tasted the cheese then. That's not too bad. It reminded me of them cheese buns you get in your supermarkets when they're topped with the cheese. It's just the same taste as that. It, to be honest, it's not too bad. It's not, not too bad at all, really. I mean, you could always stick a layer, a layer of, if you like things hot, you could lift a sausage up, couldn't you, and put a layer of chilli sauce underneath there. And you could stick a load of, grate a load more cheese over it as well, couldn't you? But I'm just trying it as it is, and it's it's okay. I'd say that that's um, would I buy it again? I would buy it again as a snack. Not too bad. I'd probably say it's a close to eight, seven and a half, seven and three quarters, eight. <laughs> Between seven and a half and eight, it's all right. It's not bad. Probably seven and a half. Mmm. So, we've got that lip left. So thanks very much for watching. You got this far. Doff me cap to you. Take care. All the best and I'll catch you on the next one.